right then. A little video for all you wagon drivers, fitters, anyone a bit new to game plan fitters. I'm going to show you how to make a couple of adapters to run sort of air, small air tools and blow your tyres up off of, the, off of the two main air fittings you'll come across in the field. So uh, what you'll need, and I've got all this from HGV Direct in the UK, but uh, there's plenty of other suppliers out there. So you want your pokey bit. This is what you insert, not, not, not in there, you put it in the red bit. Again, sorry, not in there. Set this in the red end into your emergency brakes. This adapter and this adapter, magic will happen and you'll have air. So, this, uh, this part here, they're normally about seven or eight quid. It has an half inch BSB thread in it, which is where your adapter comes in. Adapter is half inch BSB to uh, quarter inch BSB, which is what his PCL fitting is. So, that goes in there and that goes in there. Job done, you'd think, but... Uh, Got to have a bit of sealant on there, because uh, a bit like uh, a certain member of the species, if there's any gap, hot air will escape. Now you can use PTFE tape, which is perfectly fine for the job, but personally I like to use this brake and airline sealant. I just find it uh, gets a bit better of a seal. So, I have to just chop the end off, because I'm very prepared as usual. But start off at one end, so I'll do half inch end first. DL, that cold in here, my fucking sealant's frozen up. I hope this is sealant, it looks a bit, uh, bit suspicious, that. Yeah, good glob of sealant on there. Try not to shoot it in your face or your, uh, your significant other will be asking questions of you. But uh, plenty of sealant and screw her in. That's a 29 mil on the outside there and uh, 22 on the actual thread but uh, you want a good nice tight fitting on that so give her a good screw and drive her in home. There we go. Once you've got that tight and take your PCL. You can use other airline adapters. This just seems to be the sort of UK standard. We'll take most uh, most airlines, and I like to use these because you can pretty much buy them anywhere. So if you ever do break one, you can uh, you can lay your hands on another fairly quickly. And again, good bit of sealing spunk on there. Really is like this. You have to give it some good fucking wrist action to get it to uh, to come out. This stuff. There is a different one I use. It's in a different dispenser that uh, does seem to work a bit a bit better. There we go. Like anything comes when you least expect it. But uh, good smashing of that on there. Bigger the bigger the blob, the better the job. And. Uh, Find that one in. Again, just take your overpriced spanners and I uh, can't remember what size that one is. 19 mil, I think. Oh. I'll that in as well. One is done. So that fit in now. That bit, uh, your pokey bit goes into your pokey bit receptacle, which is your red brake line, your emergency brake line. Put that in there, you'll be left with that. Plug your airline into there, and you'll be able to run your air tools or blow your tyres up. Now, what you might be thinking is you're running a tipper wagon or an articulated dump truck in a quarry. But anything with air brakes, but that doesn't have a trailer, you won't have that red emergency brake to uh, to take a feed off. But what you will have, near usually down near your accumulators, you'll have one of these, and that's your test point. Where if you're doing uh, a pressure test route on your system, that's where they'll uh, they'll screw into. Now, that is just an M16 thread, and from again from the same stock, it's your HGV Direct, etc. 
you can get yourself one of these, which is a M16, I think it's 1.5 pitch thread adapter. And that'll uh, screw onto your test point and let you take a feed off it. Now, I'm not too up to date on air systems, so I'm pretty sure you shouldn't be running heavy um, air tools off of it. Uh, the, the compressors aren't really up to it, I don't think. And they don't have a, a great big uh, air tank to, to store store a lot of air, so you end up with your compressor running a lot. But for blowing up tyres, running a dust gun, I've run air greases off them in the past, perfectly fine. Now with these, this fucker is normally down somewhere awkward where you have to be a bit double jointed to get at it. So when I'm making an ad adapter up for these, I like to put a bit of pipe on it. So I get myself a bit of uh, trailer air brake pipe. Of course, it's rated for trailer brakes. So it's going to be like, plenty of pressure for running off this. And nice and flexible, don't take any room up in toolbox. Then again, a PCL fitting, but this time rather than quarter inch, you want a barb fitting on it. So you can put it in here. Now obviously you don't want to go in dry, so uh, we'll stick some of this uh, lovely stuff. You don't want too much on here because uh, you shouldn't really need it, but uh, it might just uh, just plug an oil that uh, that would seep a bit if not. So lubricate that up. Put a, a clamp over end of your end of your hose and shove her in there, and just uh, tighten that up. Then on the other end, same again, your barb fitting on your uh, your nice shiny new takeoff. And again, just a little bit of sealant on there, just to, just to help you out. And plus we've opened it now, so might as well use some and shove her in there. But don't do what I've just done and fucking forget to put a clamp on it, because... I'm a dickhead, but uh, I could remove all that with YouTube editing, but uh, I'm going to pretend that it's because I want to be honest and not that I'm fucking useless at editing as to why I'm leaving me fuck up in there. Makes me look more human, doesn't it? But there we go. Shove her in and do that clamp up. you go so now that will screw on to your your test point down by your accumulators and it'll give you an air supply at your fitting to run your tools and blow your tire up now what you can also do with this that I do because I don't like carrying that fitting and that fitting so, instead of having that going to that, what I do is, as you can tell this has been in my toolbox because it's covered in shite, I've got the same fitting, which uh, is uh, half inch BSB, I seem to remember, I've forgotten now, short term memory loss, don't do drugs kids. But this adapter that I've used, rather than going from half inch to quarter inch BSB, so you can screw your uh, PCL fitting straight on, I've gone from half inch to um, M16, 1.5 pitch, which means I can screw my test adapter on. So all that means is, if I'm going off at air brakes, I use it like that. If I'm going off at uh, off the test point, I use it like that. Just means I'm only carrying one, one dongly bit uh, rather than two. Because as we all know, having two pokey bits is just fucking greedy. But. Uh, Right, that'll do. I better go and get some work done. I'll see thee.